Doodle bud. Uh, today we got the Muji fountain pen. First saw this watching a, a channel I enjoy quite a bit, Peter Draws, and uh, I love his channel. He showed off the Muji uh, fountain pen, said it was like his favorite go-to for fountain pens, and he just loved it. So I thought, let's try one out. I've gotten Muji paper and other stuff before. Was pretty happy. If it's Peter approved, it's got to be good. So I ordered one. I mean, they're only twenty bucks. And uh, you get a lot for 20 bucks. It's it's a small pen. Like, what do I got here? Uh, you know, here's just like a kind of regular type of, you know, clicky ballpoint pen that you might have, right? Um, so it's just, you know, it's thin, it's slender, not too different from, you know, any other regular ballpoint pen. Usually fountain pens are a little more, you know, they're bigger, they're, they're girthier and stuff like that. So if you don't like the feel of a regular pen, this is a good size for that. But if you're used to the larger fountain pens, you might find this to be kind of small, which it is for a fountain pen. But um, don't let the size fill you. I really enjoy it. The design's nice, very simple. Got some nice knurling here for a little bit of a grip. Um, pet peeve of mine is having a great fountain pen. You love the looks, you love how it writes and everything else, but the grip is really slick. It's just kind of tough to write with. You're always having to focus on your hand not slipping off. So that's a nice feature. Um, just a slip cap. It's got a little cap liner in there. It goes into the groove in here. And it's actually, it just has the right feel. I know that probably the anodizing on this helps that a little bit, but that is a very satisfying little shunk how that goes in. Uh, so really good quality control on those tolerances to get a nice slip fit like that. Same with on the back side. Same type. It almost looks like that's a magnet. It's not. It's just like a little rubbery kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just for that to fit in there, like it's good tolerance, you know. So pretty good build quality for the price because you can get, you know, like a little five, six dollar cheap, cheaper uh, kind of Chinese pens that we're all familiar with. And they're okay, but you know, this is a pretty good build quality. I like it a lot. Even just the fit and finish, no burrs and stuff like that. It's quite nice. So when you get it, mostly, most of the time it does not come with um, a converter, it's just like straight for cartridges, but if you get, a, you know, I think this is like international standard that Faber uses, I can't remember, but Faber-Castell uh, cartridge converter fits in here just perfectly, so nice fit. I'm just looking here, I don't know if that's, I don't think that's rust. There's, I don't know, just a shiny brown in there, I don't know what that is. Anyhow, it's aluminum, so it can't rust. There's the pen, let's give it a quick go. The ink up today is uh, Faber-Castell Carbon Black. I love their bottles. I should have done this before. Saved a little time, but uh, you can't even see me doing it. If you like to watch. all the way down to there you go. okay we got ink so well, I guess you do get to see this part <coughs> so that knurling for a good grip also is where ink can kind of soak in a little bit so that's a pet peeve for you I don't know you might not like it but it should kind of wick out of there a little bit you see that little ring of black in that crevice there. This is one where you might want to uh, just fill it through the converter. I haven't used this pen for a little while. I thought I would do the review and I kind of forgot about that. So <laughs> it's a good thing I mentioned it because you really do have to get in here get the ink out or else when you put the cap on it's just going to get in there. So um, sidebar while I'm at it. So this is something you can do that with. Um, one of these. You can just order them on like eBay or Alibaba, whatever you do. It's just the end. You just don't want to make a big mess. There we go. Slip that on. Put it into the bottle and uh, put that in. Just prime and a touch and away you go. So if you have a pen where maybe it is a bit messy to fill it with the converter or if your ink's way at the bottom of the bottle and you know the nib has to go in so deep to be able to get it out. So if you're less than like that deep that's the deepest, uh, the least amount of ink you have to have is up to here. So if you're below that point, you can't really fill the pen. And if you want to get the converter down there, it's really deep. Your fingers will get all 
uh, dirty from touching the neck and all that stuff. So it's been quite messy trying to get all the ink out of the bottle. Just pop this on there. Away you go. Or they also have this other one. It's a full like spring syringe one. I think it's a Moon Man. Well, that says Fan Moo. Don't know what Fan Moo is, but anyways, I've also seen Moon Man with these and just, uh, you know, spring. And that can hold a ton, so you could fill a few pens with that. Or whatever it is you're doing. Anyways, back to Muji. That was quite distracting. There we go. Let's put the cap back on. That would be terrible. I like to write with the posted. And we got the Muji. Get that out of there. Missed the first uptick there. There we go. Oh, that's terrible. Anyways, Muji fountain pen. Um, so this is, whoops, bump the tripod. So this is where some people complain about this on the pen is the, it's just the feedback, the feel you have on the nib. I'll shut up and you can hear it. So yeah, if you're making that much sound. There's obviously some friction. You can feel it. But I really like this, the feel, I don't know, normally if rough nibs and stuff, scratchy nibs you don't like, but for whatever reason, this is, for me, satisfying. I guess this may be kind of like a pencil or something like that, but I find I write quite well. Um, you can, well, this is mine anyways, but you can have fairly neat printing. You know, wetness is decent on this pen. This would be a good one for, you know, you could put this in your pocket or backpack and if it, you know, it's got anodized finish when anodizing is fairly, fairly hard, but even if it does get scratched, it wouldn't really look that all bad on this pen. I know if you have some nice, really nice pens with nice, you know, finishes and resins and all that, this big scratch on it would really just, <laughs> you'd cry a little bit if that happened. Versus with this one, if it dinged a little or whatever, that's just kind of wear and tear and metal. It, it deals with it a lot, a lot better than other resins and plastics. So this would be great for everyday carry for notes and all that stuff. You can do cartridge converter, obviously, which is a handy feature. It's super light. It's small. You can take it anywhere. Um, slip caps are real quick. So for 20 bucks, this is a great pen just to have around. Use it for stuff here and there. This might not be the one that you have the most, you know, satisfying writing experience with because it's got the right balance or the right thickness or the right feel in the section or the super smooth nib. Um, but just for real quick writing, quick stuff, notes, and yeah, it's also, if you can see, I'll see if you can see it in here, uh, it's got a little bit of a bounce to the nib. You can see the tines just splay a little bit, so that's no pressure. So yeah, if it was super hard in this scratchy, I think that's where it would be not so pleasant, but I don't mind it. I know some people hate the nib a ton, and that's, you know, whatever. Um, but Muji. I like your pen. Good job on your fountain pen. 20 bucks. I'd say you can't go wrong. I'd recommend it. So, yep. Yeah.